Hello everyone and welcome to this week's project. Today we're gonna make the dinosaur hat from Stardew Valley. Uh, this is a little crocheted toque with some cute details and let's get into what you're gonna need for this project. You're gonna need a 4.5 millimeter hook, some black, white, green, and orange yarn, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle slash tapestry needle slash big eye needle, whatever you prefer. So to start, we are going to make a slip knot on our hook. Now we're going to chain 46. If you want your hat a little shorter, I would recommend taking off maybe 10 chains. And if you want yours a lot longer, add about 10 to 20 chains. Anyway, once we are done making the chain, we're going to half double crochet down the chain starting in the second loop from the hook. Once we reach the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to be half double crocheting into the back loops only. So when you look at the V's and kind of see them, that's the back loop. And then the front loop is in the front, obviously. So yeah, back loop, front loop. We're going to put our hook into the back loop and complete our half double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way down for every row. And this just makes a nice like ribbed looking fabric. And it's meant to kind of emulate uh, like a knit rib stitch. And I just continued this until my rectangle was able to fit around my head a little snugly. I'm watching royalty soaps, just having a good time, and doing my other favorite thing to do, which is, uh, <laughs> making faces at the camera. Anyway, moving on. Once I finished my last row, I chain one, and I am now going to slip stitch into the back loop and into my foundation chain to make a tube. And here you can just see me showing kind of in depth how I do that. Now that we have gotten to the end, I am going to chain one and I'm going to pull a long tail from my, um, my cake of yarn so that I can, um, make the top of my hat. I am now going to thread my darning needle with the tail of yarn and then what we're going to do is just kind of roughly sew in and out, in and out, in and out in a straight line going around the circumference of the tube and at the very end we're going to be able to cinch it because the way we're sewing it is sort of like a waistband. Thank you. 
now that we have reached the end, we are going to sort of not like hold on to the hat, but like kind of keep the hat from moving. And we're going to just pull the tail to cinch the top of the hat shut. This is my favorite part of the whole process, by the way. And I prefer to just add a couple of extra stitches for extra security and to make sure that it isn't going to budge on me whilst I'm wearing it. Alrighty, now we're gonna make a pom-pom so you can just put that crochet hook side and we are going to take our orange yarn and You're gonna want to just take like a rectangular object. I only had a bar of soap with me for some reason so we're gonna use that and Basically what you do is you just wrap your yarn around the object as much as you like you can also use your hands But sometimes I can like cut off the circulation. That's not good Anyway, I'm doing this a bunch because I want my top pom-pom to be bigger than my other two so I am putting a bunch of loops on here and when you've got the amount of loops that you want uh, we're gonna just cut the tail and carefully coax our pile of loops off of this object this is really hard for me because the packaging is paper so um you know note to self don't do that again anyway when you take it off of the object, you just want to carefully place down your pile of loops so that they don't get all jumbled and waste your time. I just put them down gently and we're going to take a long worm of yarn to kind of cinch them together to make our pom-pom. I like to leave a long tail so that it's easier to attach to my hat later, but now we are going to give our pom-pom a nice little haircut. You just want to cut through the loops, and this is what makes the pom-pom look like, like a pom-pom. Um, make sure you're not missing any of the loops. And after I cut through all of them, I just zhuzh it up a bit, kind of fluff it so that it doesn't really... So you, so you basically just can't see where it got tied. The last detail that we need to make are the eyes, and these are super simple. You just make a magic ring, and you're going to put eight half double crochets in there.
For an extra little detail on the eyes, I am just going to take my darning needle and thread it with some white yarn. Once I have it threaded, I'm just going to add a couple of stitches to look like the eye shines. Now it is finally time to decorate the hat. I am just placing the eyes on to see where I want my placement and then I will be uh, attaching them with sewing pins so that they don't move while I am sewing them into place. I meant to leave a long enough tail on the eyes so that I wouldn't need to cut another piece of yarn. Oops. I don't know what stitch this is called, I believe it is called a whip stitch, but I'm basically just going in and out, in and out, in and out to securely attach the eyes to the hat. It's just occurring to me here how much this hat kind of looks like Mona from Nanaland. Kind of cute. Now we're going to add the pom-pom. This is my biggest pom-pom and we're going to just thread the tails through my darning needle. This makes it a lot easier. I don't know how else you would attach it if you don't leave the tails, so please leave long tails. And we're now going to go through the top of the hat and pull it tight. And then we're going to flip the hat inside out in order to secure it. The way that I like to do this is kind of split the two strands and weave them in in different directions. I find this kind of helps with the strength because it'll be harder for them to unravel and after I have them both weaved in I'm going to just double knot the ends. I'm then just going to repeat that process for the next two of my pom-poms. These are a little smaller than the big one on top, but one of them is smaller than the other and I put that one closer to the bottom of the hat. And then once you weave in all of your ends, you are all done! Okay guys, and that is how I made the dinosaur hat from Stardew Valley. This one, being a little bigger than the first one that I made, kind of made the pom-poms look a little weird. But my boyfriend's hat is a little bigger than mine, so I think that'll fit him better. This one is the first one I made. It fits my head a lot better, and you can kind of see the pom-poms better. Also, I wanted to show off that I have 
one of the initial additions for the Stardew Valley board game. So yeah, suck it. Um, <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching.